New data. EV owners have had enough as EVs are catching fire in huge numbers. Are you tired of hearing about those so-called green electric vehicles being toted as the future of transportation? Well, it's about to get worse because the latest data is in and it's not pretty. You see, we already knew that EVs had a tendency to catch fire, which is already a bit of a scary prospect, but what the latest numbers reveal is downright alarming. It turns out that these EVs aren't just catching fire occasionally. We're talking about an exponential surge in fire incidents. And get this, they're not just igniting at charging stations or after a fender bender. Nope, they're going up in flames for no apparent reason. Right there in the parking lot. You'd think by now with all the hype surrounding EVs that automakers would have figured out how to keep them from turning into rolling infernos, but nope, it seems like they're scratching their heads on this one. And guess who's had enough? The EV owners themselves, and who could blame them? They're fed up with living on the edge, wondering if their eco-friendly ride is going to spontaneously combust. So in this video, we'll review five of the recent incidents of EVs catching fire and the cause of those fires. Jaguar I-PACE Let's start with the Jaguar I-PACE, an electric vehicle that's been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Now, we all know Jaguar and Land Rover haven't exactly been the gold standard for reliability, and guess what? Their leap into the EV market with the I-PACE is just adding fuel to that fiery reputation quite literally. Imagine this, you're at a charging station, plugging in your iPace, thinking you're doing your bit for the planet. Suddenly, without warning, your sleek, eco-friendly car bursts into flames. It's not just a nightmare scenario. It's been happening frequently enough that Jaguars had to step in and recall over 6,400 iPace cars in the US. The culprit? Those LG Energy lithium-ion batteries. Sure, they're supposed to be cutting edge, but they have a nasty habit of overheating and turning your fancy ride into a fire hazard. So here's the kicker. The recall didn't even fix the problem completely. Jaguar had to issue another recall for 200 more units that missed a crucial software update. And if you thought that was the end of it, well, think again. Owners were told to charge their cars outside for a full month after getting the update. That's right, folks, just leave your expensive car out in the elements because it might just catch fire otherwise. And there's more. Jaguar also introduced a software feature to cap the battery charging capacity at 75% if any issues were detected. So now, instead of getting a full electric experience, you're stuck with a gimped battery and a constant reminder to visit the dealer. Talk about a hassle. This whole fiasco with the iPace is a glaring example of why EVs might not be the smooth ride to the future we've been promised. For a brand like Jaguar, which is already fighting an uphill battle against a reputation for low reliability, these incidents are a major blow. They highlight the significant risks and uncertainties still plaguing electric vehicles. China on fire. Next, let's talk about China, the global leader in EV production and home to the most advanced charging infrastructure. Unfortunately, it's also becoming infamous for something far more dangerous, a staggering number of EV fire incidents. The country's massive push towards electric vehicles has made it a hotbed for both adoption and the associated risks. Back in 2021, the official data showed over 3,000 EV fire incidents in China, but Here's the kicker. Since then, China authorities have stopped releasing such data, fueling speculation that the numbers have only increased. EV fires have become so frequent that they're practically a daily occurrence, often caught on security cameras and spreading, well, like wildfire on social media. Take the recent incident in the Kowloon Bay charging station in Hong Kong. A BYD EV, driven by a 53-year-old woman, suddenly erupted in flames. She barely managed to escape before the vehicle was completely consumed by the fire. And this is far from an isolated case. Another incident involving an EV happened at the HJA Auto City showroom. It started smoking due to a minor battery design flaw. Luckily, the staff acted quickly, pushing the smoking vehicle out of the building before it turned into a full-blown fire. Despite the firefighters' prompt response, the fire broke out, highlighting how even a small issue can escalate rapidly with EVs. But perhaps the most tragic incident happened on the Hangzhou Highway. An all-electric Volkswagen crashed into a toll station and burst into flames immediately, killing four people. 
This heart-wrenching event exposed a critical safety flaw. The EV didn't meet the safety standard of remaining fire-free for 30 minutes post-collision which is supposed to give passengers enough time to escape. Instead, the Volkswagen caught fire instantly, giving the occupants no chance. The aftermath of this tragedy was significant. It not only intensified safety concerns, but also dealt a severe blow to Volkswagen's reputation in China. Sales of their electric models, including the ID3, ID4, and ID6, plummeted by 25%. This incident starkly showed that not all EVs meet crucial safety standards. Despite China's stringent regulations demanding that EVs should remain safe for 30 minutes after a crash. BYD Showroom EVs are still catching fire in China, and this time it's BYD, the Chinese EV behemoth and one of Tesla's biggest competitors, stealing the spotlight, but for all the wrong reasons. This incident happened in a BYD showroom in Fuzhou, the bustling capital of China's Fuzhou province, turned into a blazing inferno. This wasn't a freak accident either, this was the 10th fire at a BYD showroom in just three years. If that doesn't set off alarm bells, I don't know what will. The fire started when a parked BYD EV spontaneously combusted. That's right, it caught fire without any obvious cause. The video of this dramatic event quickly went viral, showing just how ferocious and uncontrollable an EV fire can be. Despite the heroic efforts of 29 firefighters and seven fire trucks, the blaze raged on for an entire hour. In the end, the showroom, along with every EV inside, was completely destroyed. Now, some so-called experts like to claim that EVs are less likely to catch fire than traditional gas-powered cars or hybrids, but here's the kicker. When an EV does ignite, it's a whole different ball game. These fires are notoriously difficult to put out. The BYD showroom fire is a perfect example of this terrifying reality. Once an EV fire starts, it's like trying to douse a fire-breathing dragon with a garden hose. Luckily, no one was injured in the Fuzhou fire, but the timing couldn't have been worse for BYD. The company is desperately trying to expand its market reach beyond China, where it currently makes 95% of its sales. These frequent fire incidents, however, are casting a huge shadow over its expansion dream. Dreams. And let's be honest, these recurring fires are making even the most die-hard EV fans rethink their stance. BYD's string of showroom blazes is a glaring reminder of the risks that come with electric cars. For a company looking to conquer the global market, these incidents are more than just setbacks. They're a wake-up call. Ford Lightning EVs are also catching fire. The fire hazards linked to EVs aren't confined to China. They're making waves in the US as well, where the move to EVs has been slower but no less troubling. A standout case that grabbed headlines involved the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, the much-anticipated electric pickup from Ford. In this case, an F-150 Lightning, not even delivered to its first owner, bursts into flames right in the parking lot of Ford's Dearborn plant. The fire didn't just affect one truck, it spread to several nearby F-150 models. Video footage of the incident shows the initial smoke quickly turning into roaring flames, shooting several feet into the air. It took firefighters hours to finally extinguish the blaze. Upon investigation, it was revealed that the truck wasn't even plugged into a charger at the time. It was just sitting there in the parking lot. The culprit? A battery design flaw. This incident forced Ford to halt production for about a month to address and fix the issue. This wasn't just a hiccup, it was a massive red flag about the safety and reliability of electric vehicles, especially those with similar battery designs. Chevy Bolt recalls. And let's not forget, this wasn't an isolated incident in North America. Before the F-150 Lightning debacle, Chevrolet had a major recall on its hands. Over 100,000 vehicles had to be pulled back due to fire risks stemming from battery design flaws and issues with seatbelt potentiator deployment. These problems significantly increased the risk of fires, forcing GM to recall nearly all affected vehicles. In an unprecedented and somewhat desperate measure, General Motors even advised Chevrolet Bolt owners to park their cars away from other vehicles and outside buildings to prevent potential fire hazards. These incidents underlie a glaring issue. The push for EVs is being rushed at the expense 
of safety. The Chevrolet Bolt cases are clear indicators that the battery technologies in use are far from foolproof. If EVs are catching fire without even being plugged in or in use, what does that say about their safety when they are actively driven and charged daily? So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.